leopard and her cub. Now this is apparently Shadow and her young cub. I have not seen these leopards before. So this is wonderful. What a nice surprise. Looks like both of them are fairly well fed actually, which is great. She's smelling something there. Look at that. <laughs> this is this is so special. What a nice surprise. So definitely smelling the scent of possibly another leopard around there. Um, and that snarling is they're using the, the flemin. Uh, they, or females also do it. They've got the Jacobson's organ which they they use to pick up on the scent of other animals. But yeah, they look like they have fed. Oh, watch that. Look at that. Oh, she's standing up against the tree smelling. <laughs> Uh, is this a young male or female cub? I wonder. Is it? Okay, Sebastian says it's a young female. As I said, it's the first time I've seen this leopard. Oh, it looks like she's going to head straight towards us. I'm actually going to just move quickly, Sebastian. I don't want to park in her way. Hold on a second, everyone. Sorry, Sebastian. Uh, I'm just going to reverse so that I'm not in her way if she does decide to walk along the road. Oh yeah, now a lot of a lot of you may have no, uh, realized that uh, or seen that she was limping the other day. She's still got a little bit of a limp, but uh, Sebastian tells me now it's a lot better. And look, if I look at that full belly, she looks like she's doing just fine. So not all oh, right. Okay, okay. So um, yeah, she is limping a little bit, but she looks okay. There's the little cub, young female. That is so cute. Look at that. Um, and Scott is wondering how old this cub is. Um, now, I'm trying to think, Scott. I don't know. Maybe James. You know, I'd say, I'd say she looks around eight months or so. Um, seven, eight months. I'm judging from her size. <coughs> James Richard, you say she was born around November, December, so um, so yeah, about nine months then, nine months, closer to nine, eight, nine months. Morning, everyone. Thank you, Erickson. Just going to try reposition again for you. I don't want to move around too much, just uh, move slowly and try and get a view of her every now and then. And she's walking on that fire break, which is perfect for us. Hopefully she stays on our side. We're right on the edge of our boundary, so I'm hoping she does decide to stay this side. Let's see. Let's see if we can just sit here and give her a bit of space. Just watch her. Luckily for us, we've got the camera, so it's a bit easier for us to view.
I'm saying it. It's always nice to see. Um, saying so happy to see a new leopard. Mac, um, you are asking if Shadow is Karula's daughter. As far as I am aware, she is. Um, is that right, Seb? You know? I think so. I would not mind if it's not about you, think so. But, uh, but, yeah, I'm Let me just uh, change our position slightly again. Get another glimpse there, Seb. Straight ahead. Here we go. See if that's okay. A very cute little cub. And it's nice of them to. We're walking just on our side, but unfortunately we're on the boundary, so the, this main road is quite busy. It's a bit tricky. I also don't want to park in front of any of the other vehicles. Um, Brent, you asked who gets to name the cub? Um, James does. James. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking, Prince. I, I think the guides in the area, they will, um, uh, they will make a decision. And um, here we go. There they are. I can still see them. Sorry, Sib. Um, so the guides in the area, I think they get together and they'll have a discussion about it. And then they, uh, they will come up with the name, I believe. I believe that's how it works around here. Yeah, it's generally, generally the guides in the area. They're the ones that... Uh... Sorry, everyone. All right, I, I'm going to see where this leopard goes. Hopefully she stays on our side. But let's uh, let's go across to James quickly and see what his lions are doing. <laughs> 